Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Is someone there? I can smell you. <gasps> I have a new customer! <laughs> finally! After all these years of not having customers, I finally have one. Hello? Well, let me introduce myself. I am Jack. Laughing Jack. As a matter of fact. <laughs> I can't believe you actually came to my circus. Welcome. Ah, shut up down there. <sighs> Sorry. Some of our animals have been a little bit more... Uh... How do you say feral? Because we haven't any got any real customers. And, uh, well, after our other customers have, um, come here, they usually get fed to the animals, but not you. No, 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 no. <laughs> not you, no. You're special. You're one of the first customers that come to my circus in years. I haven't had a good customer in quite a while. So tell me. Tell Jack Boy your old name. Come on. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. Like I said, my name is Jack. Laughing Jack. Yes, I am a clown. Wasn't it obvious? You know, the white face makeup, black clothing, no, the frills I have on my body. Or... Was it that the fact that I'm such an upbeat person and also have a very high tolerance for, uh, <laughs> laughing? <laughs> I haven't had such long time. I haven't had such fun with people. So, excuse me if I have a bit more outgoing personality. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what are you here for? Are you here for the trapeze? Are you here for the freak shows? Are you here for the clowns? Are you here for the cotton candy, popcorn, or even the carnival food at that? Please tell me, what are you here for exactly? Hmm, I see. So... You're here for your job. What is that job exactly? Paranormal investigator. You know, I've had a few of those type of people come here. But eventually, they just end up disappearing. I don't know what happens to them. Maybe the feral circus animals got to them. Maybe even, uh, f let's say, in hypothetical terms, there would be, I don't know, a psycho clown that uh, devoured them, maybe? Uh, opened them up like pigs with his sharp razor claws, and then sucked the blood out of their bodies like some messed up Slurpee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's just hypothetical. I don't think any type of clown would do that. After all, we're supposed to be funny. We're supposed to make all types of people laugh and put smiles on their faces. <laughs> A few questions. 
Well, I don't mind a good interview. After all, I'm famous here. Yes, yes, I'm famous here. I am the main attraction. Good old Laughing Jack. The hysterical clown. Always here to put a smile on your face and make your stomachs hurt from so much laughter. <laughs> <laughs> So, please tell me, what, what were your questions for me, good old Jackie boy? Hmm. Well, like I said, that was quite hypothetical from what I was saying, but I'm not sure about the disappearances of people. Hmm. That's quite odd, because... I haven't had any type of visitors in a few years now. Yes, yes. This, uh, nice circus here. It used to be the talk of the town, back when uh, everyone was so excited when the circus comes to the town, to see all the strong men lift impossible weights for the delicious buttery popcorn, the sweet taste of that fluffy cotton candy, and even a few circus peanuts were sold. Not our best type of seller, if you can keep that between you and I, but people still buy them. <laughs> 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 oh, well, um, hmm. How can I put this? The way, uh, my circus was uh, shut down indefinitely because, well, an incident happened. Yes, well, I can tell you that story. You, you see... Old Jackie Boy here used to love to entertain all kinds of folk, from the super old to the super young. But, I don't know what happened. I met a nice voodoo man, and he told me he can give me all types of riches and whatnot. And then, well, something happened. And, well, I couldn't stand those snot-nosed, spit-ridden brats. I couldn't stand them at all. <laughs> so, what happened was that uh, an incident caused me to go a little bit uh, wild. Yes, wild. You could say it was somewhat of an animalistic tendencies. Kind of like when... Uh, um, how can I put this? Oh, when big cats hunt for just hunting and not survival. They just want to kill for the sport. That's kind of what happened to me. S well, y yes, I, I did kill those snot-nosed brats. They deserved it. They weren't laughing at me anymore. They'd made my so unbearable to go to. And so... I lured them away from their guardians with a little bit of my candy. I have my own candy. Would you like a piece? Oh, come on, paranormal investigator. My candy is the best candy around the town. Yet you could say it's to die for. <laughs> Well, search yourself. So, paranormal investigator. What is it exactly you were looking for in my circus? Clues? Well, I don't think you're going to find any type of clues around here. So, I suggest you get on your way. Well, uh, you see, there wouldn't be any type of, uh, what you said, yes. But there wasn't any. I made sure of that. 
<laughs> I made sure there wasn't any evidence, because, well, as a good boy is, and I always listened to my mother when she was alive, to always finish what I had in my plate. Otherwise, I wouldn't get dessert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come, come, come on now. Infernal investigators, no needs to run. Come on. Let's have some fun. <laughs> You'll make a great meal. <laughs>